60 acres in deep water. And I've got like a small cabin. How long have you lived there for? I've lived here now for about 12 years. And you've never had any strange experiences other than the last yep. couple of days? It's been ongoing for ages. Since that happened, I've been putting two and two together with everything else that's been happening around here. I've had trees being broken off around my, my place. Like these are you know, healthy trees that have got no reason to be broken. And it's such a height that I can't work out exactly what would be doing it. And this has been happening for hey, for years since I've been here and all the way around, just around my place, on the boundary of it. When you say it's a cabin, is it a cabin with a veranda or is it just mm, a, a small no, cabin? Like, a, like a, you know, those mining buildings. It's like a transportable... This is your land or are you renting? No, this is my land. There's a pack of maremmas up just up the road here. This lady has 15 of them. They started going off and you could hear, you know, it was like an intruder sort of bark. The dogs around here never really do that. And it just kept going, going. I'm thinking, what the? You know, when I could hear other noises happening, I thought there's something strange going on here. And when I looked out the door, looking straight into the bush, it's kind of uh, sparse, I guess. Sparse, like eucalypt forest. And yeah, there's these black group of black, large black something moving really quickly through the bush, 60 metres away from me. You can just see the silhouette, like a dark mass going through the bush. Probably a group of, and I have to say, there probably could have been about eight of them, eight to ten. That's the strange thing, because at first I'm thinking, oh, it's like, what's going on here? Who, who are these people? And then it's like, that's, they're way too big, and they're moving way too fast. When you say they were far too big, can you estimate a height? Oh, at least eight feet. Eight feet. If you're saying that you saw a silhouette, what form was that silhouette? Large and walking, upright, moving, running. Looked like a person running, is what I would say. They were all running? Yeah, and they were moving really quickly through the bush. Like nothing else could move like that. Can you describe the silhouettes in as much detail as you can? Just large and dark, like eight feet tall. I would say that's what I'm estimating now from the size of the trees and everything else. Uh, moving in a steady but fast pace. It looked to me like they were ducking and weaving each other when they are going between the trees. What time of morning was this? I, I'm estimating it was probably about 6, 6.30. How was the light at the time? The light was coming through a group of trees there. Just the way they were moving through the bush, the size of them, you know, they're all black figures, nothing did else else, else around here or anyone that could do that. Were they making any noises as they're moving through? No, no, no. It was kind of almost silent at that stage. Prior to that, there was a lot of noise going on up in the top corner of my property there. And I could hear the dogs, and there was dogs across the street going off. I thought, there's something going on here. When I looked out, there wasn't any noise. But prior to that, there was quite a lot of commotion going on out there. They were moving from sort of north to south, moving away in a deliberate sort of way. It wasn't like they even knew I was here. It was just moving straight past. And I'm looking, and I looked again, and it's still happening. I can still see them moving. I didn't feel frightened. It wasn't like they were coming towards me. They were going past you're on the verge of Deepwater National Park, I presume? Yes, yeah, I am. North or south end? The south side of it, Deepwater side of it. Deepwater, it does have a history. We have had quite a few people in the past uh, have several stories, but the one, the real standout was 2014. That was on the okay. north end of the National Park, uh, near the uh -huh. Agnes Waters side. They'd had a situation where... The creature was around the home for quite a while. The father had walked out at some stage during the night because he was aware that there was something there. He'd taken a random photo and got a, a photo of you know, these two red eyes, which he wow. says was about seven feet off the ground. And mm -hmm. while the daughter and the father were trail bike riding, I think the father, by memory, was uh, ahead of her and he'd got up a... He was either ahead of her or he'd got up a, a different track, but uh, this thing stood mm -hmm. out right on the track in front of her. Oh, jeez. Okay. 
To the east, we've got Miriam Vale in 2012. And then further north to Gladstone, you know, there's, there's been a few that come this that's come up in uh, the recent weeks. Yeah, there's not much land, I guess, left like this. It's actually coastal. You state you're a biologist? Yeah. Biological technician for the GPI, nearly 10 years. Have you heard any other rumours around the place by any of your neighbours? Yeah, this is why I decided to report it. In the end, I was just talking to another here. He actually knows another lady in his street that is trying to capture a photograph as we speak. It has someone visiting a place, has seen the thing firsthand, and is like, yeah, this creature is here. It's in the area. And then I'm going back all over all the stuff that I've seen here over, like, the last 10 years. I mean, I'm having logs picked up and placed across trails that go off from my place through the bush. What I'm finding is, you know, that, say, about 10 feet off the ground, this branch will just be snapped and broken and pulled down in front of me so that there's a big tangle of bush, you know, like blocking the path. And that's happening to me all the time. There's no excuse for it. I look around and I go, well, you know, there's no other trees breaking. This is a healthy limb. Why is it dangling here in front of me? Then, say, the next day there'll be a log, like, picked up and put, bang, straight across the track. And I think, well, that's pretty weird. Just recently... Uh, one of the trails that lead off to the south from my place, and I see this well, every day, so you know, it's, these things stand out. Trees have been picked up, or dead trees have been picked up and placed against another tree, like a teepee sort of thing, and you can actually see where the base of it has been dragged and pushed, like pushed into place. I've been noticing this for years, it's been happening around here, and when I started to mention it, he said... Um, one of the, his neighbours has seen one and is convinced she's got one living on her property and is now investing in cameras left, right and centre. I've done the same thing just recently. I put cameras around here. I can't explain any of it. I can't explain what I saw the other day running through the bush. I can't explain these tree branches being broken. I can't explain the logs being placed across my tracks. Yeah, there's all of this I can't explain. And yet every time I go and look and look around and you know, see if there's any sort of uh, evidence on the ground, you know, there's never any footprints. <laughs> Not surprising because it's all rocks here. But yeah, haven't been lucky enough to find anything in any of the soft sand. Except on quite a few occasions being on the beach in Deepwater National Park there at Wreck Rock, seeing massive footprints in the sand there. From what I'm hearing, and when I was talking to Luke, he's going, yeah, well, don't feel like you're going to be treated like a nutcase here because actually there's a lot of people uh, saying the same thing. When I saw that the other day, that's just, that was the icing on my cake. These things are hanging around. My knowledge of the wildlife around here is up there. I'm a local snake catcher. I know what's normal and what's not. And, yeah, I just can't explain this. I can't explain them at all. Explain those creatures, can't explain the breaks. Can't explain, yeah, what's moving the timber around here. Um, then there's the noises that come out of the bush. When I first moved up here, and this is a few years ago now, I was over in the my first camp. I was standing by the fire. The, the thump, I had these thumps. Like st someone stomping the ground, more like a machine hitting the ground, you know. It was that loud and you could feel it, feel the ground sort of move. And it was like thump, thump, thump. I was throwing the torch in there, couldn't see anything. It kept happening, kept happening. And it's getting pretty scary. So I ended up locking myself in, I had a caravan over there at the time, I locked myself in that. Yeah, we get these loud whistles. There's a bird around here that makes a whistling noise. You can hear it goes like, Woo, you know. Then there's another whistling sort of, these whistles that come out that you go, what's making that? Can't explain it. Like trees being broken over that you can hear happening at night. You can hear when a branch goes, you know, thump. You can hear it. A subtle difference, but there is a difference. And then there's other times when it's like, crap. You know, something's just grabbed this and busted it. It's my scientific mind that comes out of me. It's like, I've got to know what they were. What's causing these things to happen around here? What's making these noises? All of the above. Because it is a little bit disconcerting in the middle of the night. I live here alone. When the donga first got put here, one of the first nights I spent actually in the donga itself, 
you know, something banged on the side of the, right, right under my window, three feet away from me. Nearly had a heart attack, is what you could say. But something banged, something, and I've got no trees, there was nothing there, too bang on it. Yeah, scared the bejesus out of me, <laughs> to be honest. I'm just so glad that, yeah, I got in touch with you anyway, so it's just, hopefully it might be helpful one day.